this adventure. We gotta go find out why rooftop six is not working. The thermostat's working inside the space. But there is no cooling. We've been up on this roof. Hopefully everything's labeled. Operating with the 324 fluke meter, not my usual 902. Just to see if that meter could replace an HVAC meter. I know for heating, no. For AC, I think it could give it a run for its money. But I'm gonna find out. This one, PP1 breaker. All right, that one might be having a problem this one rooftop two though it's labeled inside as rooftop six so here's another one that's off but looks like we have water from condensation and this one rooftop two <laughs> so here's rtu2 and there's rtu2 i love it that's my down unit most likely but let's just mini splits on that side RTU4 okay so somebody put this here but I'm this one's off it's not on it's not doing anything and it has no water on the ground I don't see any pencil mark with a rooftop number on it I mean, this looks like it's been working. We got water here, we got water there. So I'm not thinking that either one of these units is the unit not working. It could be, but I don't think I'd have this much water. This one's been off for a while. There is water here, unless that water's coming from there. But got heat off of here. nothing's labeled supposedly this is three on the old disconnects there's no frozen or nothing the fan spinning okay we got no action but i'm not too worried about him let me check this guy out make sure he works i think right here is my problem so so now look everywhere, wondering where the problem is. We're gonna start right here. Okay. I don't hear the fan. I don't hear anything going on inside this thing. So this is probably the culprit. on the board okay we're not off on high pressure is this just off either I'm on the wrong thermostat in the wrong unit or is this one off I should use a meter yeah let me use a meter I mean, not if people are learning from me, learn the wrong way of just jumping the thermostat and then continuing. Let's see if I have voltage coming up. I do miss the case that my 902 once came in. Okay, so first things first. Do we have a call for a cool? hold okay so uh, Y and C no this one's off let's see right yeah R and C we have power 
Okay, G. And C is off. Okay. So from the building, we don't have a call. I could be on the wrong unit again. It's happened before. So we're using blue for Y. Coming to my unit, two, three, it's telling me, which is nothing. It's like noise or interference. Yeah, so. unit's not labeled. I could have a bad thermostat. Oh, this is two. Also. Problem. I have an out prodigy. Okay, that unit's not a problem. This one is a problem. This is why if you can label things. You want to make sure you at least have power. Do we have anything? Yes, 214, 214, zero, zero, like it's supposed to be on the top. Okay. We have no blinking lights or anything like that. So, let's put this here. And we're going to check the top. Four volts, 212 at the top, nothing on the bottom. I have a low voltage short. Something is stripped to ground. Now there's a lot going on, of course, in this unit, so anything can be stripped to ground. And that's why I have nothing on my Prodigy. Let's just see. With nothing attached. Boom, instant. So nothing attached, it still trips, so it's not on my control in, it's on the inside of the unit. On the R side is grounded. Somewhere. So, I mean, disconnect that, it's off. Gray wire grounded, that's okay. But this should not be grounded. Yep, red is grounded. Where is it grounded? I don't know. But the red is grounded. Coming up here. So. It's like my controller's grounded. 
got continuity, but we're in a hole. Okay, my red wire is grounded or the board is grounded. is okay so I have a direct short to ground here But I hit, I hit the unit. I mean, this this stuff is going through. So let's see if any of this stuff is which side. No, no, no. This wire here on this side is connected to the ground. Rubbing anywhere, but here's my free stat. So let's make sure. Now I gotta go on this side. Got ohms and resistance, but that's not showing up as a straight. When you're looking at the pipe, look for spots that look shiny, like it's been rubbing. Continuity. Maybe it was a fluke, there was a storm. coming on we had a bad storm yesterday so anything is possible boom out instantly so as soon as the controller tried to energize or respond to a call it shut everything off so let's take the low voltage off eliminate all of that stuff from the system so I get something in my controls because with no call it's off Let's see. Service, enter, test, boom, enter menu, guided, blower, fans, cool, heat. Hmm, I think we should start with, we'll bring the blower on first, the blower relay. Enter. Blower high. This is the blower high contactor. Blower is off.
Hmm. You won't let me move through? Nope. We trip. Something in the control. Or the blower relay. Let's see. This is my compressor. So my blower is coming here. It seems like it moves. Set. Car to ground. No. Common to ground, that's common's grounded, so. Okay, so R to ground is okay. When the relay goes to kick, We came on the blower it starts so right now all my controls are disconnected my shorts not in my controls it could be in the contactors but it's not in my controls so turn that off for a second let's just see what the board looks like make sure we don't have any burn marks on the board from that storm Just rest this over here for now. So, common 24. Where's, is that what just happened? Let's check the blower relay to ground. Okay. Now it looks like a good ground. Oop. That's the common. Oh, both sides of this is grounded we have a bad contactor or a stripped wire because i'm not supposed to be reading both sides of my coil like here that's ground but then the other side right now i do have the power off oh, good both sides my contact is grounded Why are both sides of my contact are grounded? They should be loads, not going right to ground. K1B. J265 A. J265 A, which is the one in the back. But if I have this wire disconnected, I'm not the smartest man, but I don't believe that this should be grounded. And it's not. And it's not. So, now my K1 3 wire, K3B, K3. B what that is this wire right K3B yeah that's the other side K1B K3B so this wire and this wire what is this wire So right here, this has a label on it. 603542. 65B. Six, okay, where's the blower motor? Motor blower, B3, B3. K3 contactors. I have two separate contactors to energize my blower motor. So.
I have a bunch of relays. Now to have two separate contactors. But I don't have a high low. So let's forget the two separates. I have one contactor for my blower. My one contactor for my blower is right here. Because K3 is my blower contactor. K3 is my blower. Contactor, blower, hi. That's all I have. So, I'm not energizing my blower. My blower should come on no matter what. It's not though, but it should be coming on. Now, it moves, it's not hot, contactor's not pulling, so... Two six five two six five. That's H, but this is two six five B. But let's disconnect this real fast. Compress high low. Now our Energizing that. I'm not energizing this. I kind of feel like I'm missing my common. If all my grays are common. Just saying. I have a red and yellow. Up here. 6054 SF. But I don't have a gray wire just kind of hanging out with no home, except for there. The only... I can go between here and up here. On one... K3 is supposed to energize. Economizer, the damper. High low compressor. So I mean high low right here is where it's gonna be energizing my blower. So the red is energizing it. Red energizes top. There's a problem. Nothing's energizing the bottom. Yellow K1A is coming back to here for what? Mm -mm, compressor one. Great. There goes that ribbon. Ow, that freaking thing is hot. Okay. Daughter goes to daycare across the street from where I'm working right now. Let's see if I can get the whole pattern so I don't screw it up.
Yep, that uh, looks like it was right, right there. I wonder who sabotaged this thing. This piece breaking. That was me. That was me, definitely. I'm not going to deny that at all. That was all my fault. It's what I'm good at. I break things. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That unplugged. That could have been why. I had no blower coming on. Let's see, we're restarting. Got the ribbon on, right? Presser on. But we didn't pull our blower. Not good. Still not pulling the blower. Or the condenser fan. Just straight compressor at this point. I'm probably gonna disconnect, so. I think that storm killed this thing. Okay, I want to see if I have power going up to those contactors or if this is actually the board because I could have, ooh, he's missing his battery case, got to locate that. Alligator clip on. Am I getting a signal? Yes. Contactor is not pulled though. Okay, so I have a bad contactor. Well, at least I know that. So let me go grab a contact there. Because I had it running before. Restart. With just the compressor contactor pulled in. My fan didn't start before. Still nothing on the compressor part. I 
want fan only. Full cool. Pressure. I hear a fan on top. Okay, my condenser fan came on. The only thing that won't come on and it blows the breakers when I'm trying to get the blower on. So, because of that, let's get that contactor out of here. contactor is but we have nothing screwed in everything stake on okay so I just disconnected it I gotta make sure these are tight the red seemed a little loose and I don't like loose wires That's commercial experience, but I'm learning every single day on the job. And in the end, the only thing that matters is the outcome. Okay, so here we go. This is like my Hail Mary at this point. Restart. I didn't knock anything off the lower contactor. No. Upper contact is all connected. Yes. Perfect. And there you go. It was the contactor. System operates. Never give up because you could fix anything you run into. Even if you get a little stumped at times, don't give up, keep trying. You saw what I did. I mean, I went through everything here. I should have gone right to that. I even screwed the unit up. I just, I disconnected my commons from my contactor, which probably helped me. Not for nothing. I'm surprised I didn't create a direct short there, but it probably helped me. So it let the system start, which allowed me to go further with troubleshooting. That close. And you know the best part of this job? I gained experience. I learned a lot. Every job I do. But this job, I learned a lot. So let me get my light out of here, but I mean, that's pretty cool, this, this light here. I like it. Everybody keeps asking me about it. This is from Harbor Freight. It's the Brom Slim Bar. It only lasts two and a half hours about on high, but if you watch my videos, you see I use it all the time. 